Hello everyone, I am Amrit and I am a colorist and I make videos on DaVinci Resolve here on YouTube. Today I will show you how you can place your sky in just color page of DaVinci Resolve. It doesn't matter you have a studio version or free version, this method applies on both versions. Let's just start it. You can see here I have a clip. The sky in this clip is like totally blown out. And sometimes you can cover this and sometimes you cannot cover this. So you have to totally change it. Or you can change it in just color page. Let's just do it. First of all, I am done with my like contrast and uh, balance saturation node. I will do that before I am going to start replacing sky. So let's add a new node and let's just qualify this sky. You can see here sky is like totally white blown out so we don't have to select any saturation or hue. We can replace it just by selecting luminous value and let's just first click on the highlight so we can see what's going on. Qualify this as much as you can. And that's enough. Don't go too much. And let's just clear the blacks 100%. Uh, little bit, a uh, little bit denoise. We want only select the upper part of this clip. Don't want to select this one. Or we can see mostly everything is selected. But for sure, let's just add a quick mask. We don't have to track this mask because in our clip, sky is at the top. Yes, that's good. And let's just let's just add another outside node by just clicking Option and O. You can see here is the part we want, and that part we don't want. I already added alpha output. If you didn't add, just go and add from here and alpha output and take this part and select with this one and let's just go in our edit page we have images of sky let's just drag it down make sure the image of sky is under the clip of uh, we are working on and let's just go in color page again and open that one clip. Make sure you deselect the highlight button and you see the clip here. And I just go in picture of the sky and go in sizing. Let's just fit this according to our need. Make sure when you are doing something, just create it like it's merging both clips. We are seeing here something is wrong. We didn't match for that in our image. Let's just do. Let's just up the lift. Okay, let's go in our clip and let's see what's going on. Maybe we can do something. Uh, 
and look. We are just merging both of them. And everything looks perfect. You can see clip is moving, but sky is not moving. That looks not real. So for that, firstly, add a window here, which part we want to track. Go in our track window and make sure tilt zoom rotate 3D all are deselected because we only want to track our pan movement. Let's just track it and from here let's just copy the track data of this track window and let's just deselect this one and now go in our sky image and go in tracking make sure stabilizer on and go in classic stabilizer and strong and this maybe is going to be like plus 100 make sure it's minus 100 from here just paste track data and click on stabilize and you see our clip is a little bit off so go in sizing again then make sure it fits and let's just play at once so look sky is moving with the clip and there is another method to replace a sky it's a little bit technical in fusion tab you can make a black mat from this clip and with the help of that black mat you can replace this sky from here for that let's just first go in media pool and add that mat in our media pool i have a mat of that clip already made if your uh, mat clip doesn't look like this and it looks like this then you can go here and make sure show individual frames are deselected so it will show us like a clip and let's just add in matte bin and go in color page again open our media and it's a matte and drag it in node map here we have a matte from our clip Let's just add a new node. And from very first part of math, let's just drag it here. You can see everything is selected. And I'm clicking here. You can opposite this one. And I already add a alpha output here. Now connected with this one we have already moved over sky let's just go in edit page take another image and take it down we have the image so go, let's go in sizing and in sizing let's fit this one for tracking we we will apply the same method let's just go in clip and make another node that node select the window for tracking this one, we will track this pool. And go in tracking window. Make sure you are in window tracking. And only fan is selected. Copy this track data. And you can remove this node. And let's just go in our image. Same method, stabilizer, classic stabilizer, minus 
100 base track data stabilize and everything is perfectly tracked and here we have another clip same thing go and qualify in luminous make sure highlight is on so we can see what's going on here is a tricky situation we have a place like water and that's also white for that we will add a mask cow mask and let's just make a mark if you want to track it you can track but i don't find to any reason to drag it because in this video is not moving it's a stable video highlight off make an opposite of that one and you see we have black background because we didn't add anything in under here let's just add this one on that image make sure to fill everything and image is dark so let's just make everything up so it matches with our shot you see our sky is replaced and further thing you can do if you are uh, like well, this clip we have a change our sky but if we want to color both sky and uh, our foreground look same so we have to color it together so for that just go in edit page and make from both a compound clip and when you are in a compound clip everything is tracked go in compound clip and you can make changes here with your color correction and everything you want to do this will affect both of them which look you want to give it you can give it here in compound clip if you want to add a vignette everything will be affected both of the clips now we are affecting both clips so that's it for today guys if this video helps you make sure you like my video and subscribe to our youtube channel and make sure you on the bell icon so whenever i'm going to upload next video you will be notified and if you have any question you want to know something you can message me on my instagram i will give you a link of my instagram in description